Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. I'm so excited to get into today's video. As you can tell from the title, it is gonna be a misguided haul. If you're new here or you just haven't already, please feel free to hit subscribe down below if you wanna stick around for more videos in the future. Also, I would be so appreciative if you guys could give this video a thumbs up. It actually really helps to push my channel to like new people. So I'd love you forever for that. Just for sizing reference, I am around five foot six in height and I'm typically between size 10 and 12 UK clothing. I'll link all the items down below. I do usually have a discount code which is Emily Diane but for the week of the 25th of November all the way up to the 29th of November Miss Guy did actually have massive like cyber week deals running so you can grab yourself up to 90% off selected items on the website so make sure you're checking out their sales. As I mentioned I will link all of these items and I'm sure you can grab some of them for a really good price. I am wearing the first little set that I picked up, so I'm gonna step back and talk you through this. This is a really gorgeous little loungewear piece. I think I've got another kind of tracksuit in this same sort of material in like a green colorway. So I know they do different variations of this, but I just love the material of them. It's kind of like, I think this one is a little bit more velour and the other one that I had is like a toweling kind of material, but this is so soft, so comfortable. I just thought it was really cute and a little bit more dressed up like obviously if you did want to lounge around the house in it you definitely can but it's very easy to dress up to go out in as well the trousers i believe i got in a 12 these fit perfectly they do actually have a drawstring waist so you can kind of cinch them back in if you want to go up a size or anything for the length but the length on them on me is actually perfect they do kind of hit the floor um but like i said i would probably pair these with chunky trainers which would just lift them a little bit but yeah they fit so nicely everywhere like on the waist on the bum I'm really impressed with these. The little top that I went for, I think they had slightly different variations. I think they had a long sleeve version of this top, maybe like some sweaters, I wanna say. I can't quite remember, but I did go for this really cute little capped kind of crop tee. I thought it was just really, really sweet. And obviously if you did wanna pair this with other things, you definitely, definitely can. Both pieces are super versatile, but paired together they make it such a nice little set. This is kind of what it looks like from the back. It obviously has the blue stripe going down the side of the trousers and the sleeves. I love it. I love the little blue details with this kind of off-white cream color as well. I am gonna stick with the TP sets for now, but I just quickly wanted to show you guys these leggings because it's really made me laugh. These are high-waisted, but when I say high-waisted, <laughs> there is so much material here and I'm not entirely sure why. From the off, I would say you can probably downsize in the leggings because they are super, super stretchy. I went for a 10 to 12 in both of these pieces. Let me just quickly throw on the top and I can show you guys in full. This is the really cute set. I actually love this so much. I just am really unsure on why there is so much material here on the leggings. Like hopefully you guys can see it's super big and baggy. I don't think it really looks it because it is really elasticated. So it kind of stretches back, which is nice but I just feel like it's very unnecessary. <laughs> Definitely could have got away with the neck size down, which I believe was a six to eight, just because the waistband is super elasticated as well, so it will always snap back and fit you absolutely fine. That being said, this is quite possibly the comfiest set. Like, it's in this gorgeous knitted material, not itchy at all. It's just a really cute little top and legging set, and they did this in a camel color as well. I wanna say like a taupe kind of stone, which was also gorgeous, and I feel like I might pick that up now. I think I'm gonna wear this a lot more than I thought I might of. I thought I'd just kind of, again, pair it around the house, but dressing this up with like a gilet, some boots maybe, would be really easy. I love this little vest. I think it's really quite different. It has this massive collar to it. So you can kind of like undo this as much as you want. But again, this even with jeans or some faux leather trousers, switching the outfits up. I love getting cords because obviously you can use both pieces individually as well. So yeah, that is this little set. Just quickly whilst I have this set on, I thought I would just show you guys the gilet that I picked up. Cause like I say, I think it would be nice to kind of pair with this set. I know it means the sleeves are out, but I sometimes don't mind that look, like a little short sleeve crop with a gilet and some faux leather trousers or something. I think it can be quite cool. So I probably pair something like this with it. I think I got this gilet in a 12 or maybe I upped a size to a 14 and I'm not sure I needed to it is definitely a bit of an oversized fit anyway so don't be afraid to stick true to size I'm sure it will still come up a little bit more relaxed fitting but this feels super nice the quality is amazing on it it's obviously double lined and it has the nicest like 
it sounds so silly but like the nicest amount of thickness to it it's not crazy puffy it's not really noisy when you move like it just feels perfect sometimes i find that gilets can be really quite like puffy and bulky and i think this is such a nice kind of in between they also had it in black um and i think they had like a faux leather version as well which is also nice this would also look super nice with a brown tracksuit or like a stone taupe kind of color tracksuit underneath as well i have just paired the next two items together because we've got a pair of jeans and then this really sweet little top which i love i know they're probably not everyone's cup of tea but i think they're so cute it's one of those like layering pieces we have a little vest underneath and then these sleeves are completely detached this is from the restyled range on misguided which is all recycled materials obviously it's a lot more ethical it's such an amazing range the quality is impeccable on every single item i've never been let down by it so i got this in a 12 this little set and it fits perfectly it's so nice and tight fits really well all round so basically anything in this kind of material you can stick through to size or size up if you're kind of in between sizes like I am but the quality of this is amazing it's like a ribbed material as you guys can probably see and it's just so thick feels very comfortable on I really can't fault it I feel like you can do so much with these as well like you can definitely definitely dress these up if you wanted to so that is the top this is what it looks like from the back in case you're interested obviously they are detached so it just has a little cutout which is cute as well but these jeans i love these i love misguided for their denim anyway denim shorts denim jackets literally anything denim i find that they have really soft materials and they're not like super restrictive or anything they're just really comfortable to wear so i went for some more high-waisted denim jeans however these ones are really quite baggy you'll be able to see in the full length but i usually go for more of a straight leg and i wanted something a little bit more casual especially for the daytime just to pair with trainers little crop top body suits again another staple but i just didn't really have any super baggy ones they have so many other styles of course as well so definitely check out their denim range if you're interested i did also get these jeans in a 12 again i'm going to stick with this outfit really quick to show you guys this coat i think these sell out so quickly on misguided because they are quite possibly the best maxi coats i have ever seen they have the most gorgeous colors they have an all black version they have a cream version which i know people go crazy for it's really giving me north face vibes i think that's why everyone goes a bit crazy for it it just has the misguided logo here with a little bit of text again you'll be able to see it better in full length like where this kind of hits me but it's literally the perfect length like perfect maxi coat i did go for this gorgeous khaki which i think they had quite a few left of like i said i think the cream sells out all the time but i definitely want to try and get my hands on that because it is such a gorgeous color and I've seen people style it in really nice ways as well. But yeah, I just thought this was so, so nice. I love this kind of khaki. It's literally like the perfect shade, especially paired with the black. I think they go so nicely together. I'm even thinking just an all black outfit underneath, faux leather trousers, black chunky boots, black bodysuit, this over the top. Just for sizing reference, I did actually get this in a 10 because I think I was a bit worried about it being way too long on me obviously if you did want it a little bit more boxier then by all means go up a size next we've got three staple knitwear jumpers that i've seen time and time again on their instagram just people styling them up really nicely so i wanted to throw them in this haul in case you guys are on the lookout for staple knitwear pieces that is something that i'm always lacking i don't know why but i really need to build up my like knitted jumper wardrobe because again Faux leather trousers faux leather leggings jeans little skirts cycling shorts blazers over the top they go with everything. They quite possibly are the biggest staple when it comes to this time of year. But I saw this one on Sophie Milner and she looked so cute in it. I believe she actually went up a size in it because um, I did get this in a 10 to 12. I think it would be really oversized. But it does have that relaxed fit to it. But I kind of wanted it to be a little bit bigger because I wanted the option to wear this as a jumper dress. So I think I might go back on that and get the size up from this. I liked the design on it. So as much as it's a very basic, super simple knit that's going to go with absolutely everything, it has this really gorgeous, just like pattern knitted into it. It's very simple. Again, it doesn't feel itchy at all, like not one bit. Like I said, I did end up going true to size and this is how it fits me personally. So it literally just depends on what you prefer. But obviously I just styled it then tucked in at the side here. But the length of it, it does hit my bum so it doesn't go past it so I definitely could not wear this as a jumper dress of course um so I would need to go up at least a couple of sizes to make sure the length is there this is definitely a much simpler piece but this is just something that I kept seeing pop up on the website and I was like Do you know what it would be a good staple again I'm thinking this tucked into little like woven skirts more as a layering piece I would say this has been sent as a six to eight still fits me fine like i don't hate the fit of this i think it would be the perfect size to fit into little skirts and things like that faux leather shorts for example just because it's not like drowning me but again depends on what fit you guys want the one thing i would say about this is they have 
so many colors in it i did go for the khaki kind of olive color again because i'm really loving this especially with the blonde bits in my hair it does have this really cute little towel neck to it as well which isn't restrictive like it's actually very comfortable to wear i love this color so much i think it's such an autumnal kind of shade really perfect to pair with something cream for example even just like a cream blazer if you did want to dress it up very simple but kind of effective depending on how you personally want to style it the final knitwear piece that i grabbed is this one which i'm sure you guys have seen everywhere they have this in the most gorgeous cream color which i really want to get my hands on because again i would style that in so many different ways i think this is such a timeless piece as well because it has the gorgeous cable knit to it so again it's got a little bit of detailing going on but it's not too much i feel like all knitwear really you're going to have for a very long time because it just never goes out of fashion like it always comes back in so i think this is a really good sort of in between piece it has something going on but again it's very easy to style with pretty much anything love that it has this large collar to it again kind of like the other gray set that i showed you guys this does feel lovely i would say it's not quite as soft as the other pieces i just showed you but it's not itchy it just feels a little bit different is all i did also get this in a 14 to 16 and again i wouldn't say that it's come up super oversized so maybe up a couple of sizes if you want it to be a little bit baggy than this and maybe a little bit longer on the arms is the only thing i would say i'm dying to get my hands on the cream one because as much as i do like this gray color i love styling an off-white kind of color a lot i think i'd probably pair this again with black leather trousers i'm sorry i keep saying that i'm actually going to try and link some misguided ones down below so you guys can grab some because I didn't pick up any in this haul, mainly because I have 10,000 pairs. I don't need any more. Next, I grabbed this really gorgeous Borg shacket. I don't really own many shackets. I need more in my life, especially again, they're really good for this time of year for a layering piece. I get the vibe of this and I'm just not sure I love the execution. I think pairing it as like an overshirt would work perfectly, but I kind of wanted to wear this as like a little shirt dress. I was thinking with some knee high, like white chunky boots or again, like a cream color. Um, I will try and link some from Misguided. I think they're selling out of all their boots so quickly because they have some really cute styles, but I will try and link some that I'm kind of thinking of to pair with this outfit in case you do like the look of it. I do feel it's the belt that's throwing me off. So I think I'd probably pair this without the belt and just have it like super slouchy. Or like I say, I definitely would pair it as like a layering piece on top of a cute outfit, even just like a mini dress. Again, with some boots to make it a little bit more winter practical, but the actual jacket itself, it is really nice. It's a very soft kind of borg. Only thing I would say is it isn't lined inside. It's not uncomfortable, but it's just, I do wish it had a little lining on the inside here. I think I'm definitely gonna find a way to style this. I believe I got this in a 12 and the fit is really nice. So I would say that this is made to be a little bit more oversized anyway. This is a little bit rogue for me, but I kind of love these basketball style tees this is basically a t-shirt dress and i thought it'd be cute to pair with knee high boots again big chunky jacket over the top like a bomber style which i'll show you in a second this feels really nice it's just it's easy to throw on i thought it looked quite cool again style it however you like even if you just want to lounge around the house in it, it is quite possibly the comfiest t-shirt dress i have ever put on my body i love these little designs here the kind of sporty aspect to it i kind of love that the material hangs really nicely it kind of has a bit of weight to it it does have this design on the back as well with just the number um, which is also kind of cool but like I say I definitely would pair this how I did the other day and like style it how I did um, in that little TikTok because obviously t-shirt dress winter doesn't really go together so I did find this bomber jacket on Misguided that I feel like a lot of you are gonna love <laughs> so this is it as you can tell perfect color match it is also khaki but I went for this because it's reversible so it has this borg detailing on the middle of it but you can actually wear this inside out and wear it as a borg bomber jacket which i thought was a really good idea you're literally getting two coats in one so i feel like this is going to be very very popular the only thing i would say i can't remember what size i've got this in i believe i might have got this in a 14 it is super oversized but also my only bugbear is that it's really noisy Hopefully you guys can hear that. I think just because of the material that it's made of on the outside, it just is a little bit noisy. So that is the only thing I would say. But as a jacket, I'm obsessed with it. Like I know it literally looks like I've stolen my dad's jacket, but I kind of love that. It's super oversized, super big and baggy. I really like it. I don't know if this is gonna be a little bit hit and miss. Like I know some people will think, what on earth? But I especially thought paired with this t-shirt dress, like I say, the colors go so well. I love that the ball, kind of pops through a little bit i also started with 
some Jordans and I thought it was just like a really cool casual look. So yeah, that is the jacket. It has all of these little details as well. So it has little zips on the arms. It does have pockets at the side here and then on the other side, it also has pockets too. Let me quickly flip this round and we can see how the other side looks. It kind of still works with this t-shirt dress because obviously it's very neutral anyway, but you've still got the khaki peeping through and it also has khaki pockets to it. So I think this also works. Obviously again, throw in other trousers, but I'm thinking this Borg side thrown over like a big white oversized hoodie. I will link one from a recent misguided haul that I did, but I think that would look really nice under this. Again, with the khaki accents, I really like it. And from what I remember, it wasn't too expensive. So even though it's a little bit noisy with the material that it's made out of, it's very good quality, it's super thick, it's gonna keep you so warm, and you get two coats for the price of one. That is everything that I had to show you guys for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed the haul. I hope you found something you might like the look of. I think this set is my personal favorite from today's video. Please let me know what yours was down below in the comments i'm really intrigued and make sure you hit subscribe if you're new here make sure you give the video a thumbs up like i mentioned at the start it does really help me out follow me on instagram all that good stuff and yeah hopefully i'll speak to you guys very soon in my next video bye guys